It was tough, but you know what? I knew once I cracked him, once I hit him, I just you know that's why I, I treated it the way I did. Because if the referee would have allowed the fight to take place to keep going, then you know he's gonna be in danger. I felt like the referee probably was gonna try it. I thought like, yo, the referee you gonna you don't want me to win that much? All right. And Brandon, you're arguably coming on your greatest win against an undefeated fighter. You say your toughest fight. Where do you go from here? I don't know. You know, sky's the limit. It always has been. But if you look at how everything just took place, like literally, I was down on all the cards I heard. One, they took a point away from me. Uh, you didn't have your trainer? I didn't have my trainer. That was the smallest ring they could possibly find for me to fight in. Like if you look at all the, the everything was put it up against me. And we, you know, I overcame it. So I was really the underdog and the under. And there you have it, you guys. The fix was in. They tried to cheat Brandon DeCannon Adams and it backfired. As he said, the referee stayed in his ear, you know, telling him to keep his punches up. Right. Even though they was legal shots. Right. The judges was against him. Come on. The ring was against him. Everything was against him in this fight. That dude, Sergey, he was supposed to win this fight, period, point blank. He was supposed to win. And he got upset. You know, and knocked out because he tried to cheat. See, this is what happened to cheaters. Karma can come back in an instant. Right. And I have something to say right now. See, I didn't want to bring this up right before the fight because I didn't want, you know, nobody to hit me with. Oh, yeah. Like you making excuses for your boy. Right. You making excuses just in case he leave, he lose. Right. You making excuses just in case he lose. But I'm going to say this right now. Me. I think that guy, sir. Hey, I think he's on PEDs. And why do I think that? I think that because he was supposed to fight Brandon Adams in December and he pulled out of the fight. Why did he pull out of the fight? Because he was on PEDs and he had to cycle off of them. Right. Because he was part of the WBC and he knew he would have to take a drug test for this fight. That's why. See, I didn't want to badmouth the young fighter, but. Since him and Tom Loeffler, right, and the rest of, you know, the cronies tried to cheat my boy, I'm going to air him out. I'm going to air him out. And I think he's a PED cheat. I do. If you look at him, man, he's a PED cheat. Because it was no reason for him to pull out the fight with Brandon Adams in December. It was no reason for him to pull out of that fight then. Right. The only logical reason in my mind is because he was trying to cycle off of something. You know, and I'm just bringing this up because I seen how this fight went down and they tried to really cheat my boy, but he overcame the odds like he always will do. I'm gone.